Oh, hey guys. Don't you just love summer? I love just kicking back and relaxing. Enjoying the sunshine. Oh, I should put on some more sunscreen. Oh, that's better. <sighs> it's the best, right? Oh, excuse me. This is Miss Huff. Wait, what? Summer's over? It's time to go back to school? Ah, where, where, where's my mask? Oh, hi everybody. I, it's time for school to start. Well, welcome to art class. Hopefully the real life Mrs. Hoff reminded you to wear your mask. You wanna make sure that it's all the way covering your nose and your mouth, and that we don't touch our mask or our face. We want to make sure that we're safe in art class. That's one of the most important things this year. So you are always going to need to wear your mask while you're in art class. For this video though, I'm going to get to take my mask off, even though real life Mrs. Hoff is going to be wearing her mask today. Now hopefully, real Mrs. Hoff reminded you of her name. Wait, what's my name? Mrs. Hoff. There are two people you need to know. One is Mrs. Hoff, the other is that famous lady, Miss Mona Lisa. Now let's see if you remember Mona Lisa. When I say Mona, you say Lisa, and then you're going to become the Mona Lisa. All right, Mona, Lisa, sitting up tall, hands on your lap, eyes on me, mask on your nose and your mouth. Oh, I better put my mask on. Hmm, what are some other really important things you need to know for art class? I know. The first thing is that we have assigned seats. We're always going to start the day on the floor, sitting on your colored square. There are colored dots on the floor. Each one of these squares matches with your table color. So if you sit at the yellow table, you will also sit on a yellow square. You will have an assigned seat at the table. That means you always have to sit in the same seat when you're at your table. But when you come to the floor, you can pick one of the four squares, but it has to be a yellow square. If you sit at the red table, then you need to sit at your assigned seat at the table, whichever one I tell you to sit at, always in the same spot. And when you come to the floor, you need to pick a red square to sit on. I have two special guest students that are going to show you how to come in and sit on your square. The first thing we do is use hand sanitizer right there. So come on in class. Thanks for coming in so quietly. Grab a squirt of hand sanitizer, rub it in, and then go find your square. You're going to sit crisscross applesauce, or there are two other choices for how you sit. Crisscross applesauce or mountain or mermaid. So that your bottom is on the floor in any of those choices, please don't come in and lay down on the floor. Please don't stick your legs everywhere. Mm, 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 mm. This is not how we sit on the floor. Your choices are again, crisscross applesauce, mountain, or mermaid. And at the very end of class today, we're gonna line up on the rainbow line. So now we get to practice. All right guys, let's find out what's going to happen next. We're gonna get to go to our assigned seats and get some clay. So here's how that will work. I'll walk around with my clipboard and I'm gonna call your name to the back of the room. When you hear your name called, come on over and I'll show you what seat you sit in. Then I'm gonna give you a mystery bag with some colored clay in it. Everyone's going to have different colors so that you can remember your color and make sure that you only touch your clay. Please don't trade with anybody else or touch anyone else's clay because we don't wanna spread germs. So your clay is for you. Whatever color you get, I promise it's gonna be awesome. That's your clay. And you're gonna to get to use that clay every day when you come to art. So you'll get a bag 
when I call your name and you sit at your table. Then you can open your bag and you can start using your clay. But I need you to do that very quietly because everybody else is still finding out where they sit and they're going to be watching a video up on this board right here. So listen for your name. I'll call you to your table. You'll get some clay. You can quietly open it and finish watching the video about clay uh, until it's time to meet everyone else at your table and do that fun stuff. So, okay, next guys, we're gonna play a little game and here's how it works. It's a silent game, so we're not going to talk, but I'm going to say something and then if that's true for you, you're going to raise your hand. Not talking, just raise your hand. If it's not true for you, keep your hands quietly on your lap. All right, I'm gonna play too. So raise your hand if you love art. And now you can look around and see who else in the class likes art. Okay, okay. Raise your hand if you're nervous about your first day today. Even teachers get nervous too. Raise your hand if you're new to our school. Raise your hand if you like pickles. Raise your hand if you went to the beach this summer. Raise your hand if your favorite color is blue. Raise your hand if you like to paint. Raise your hand if you want to get better at drawing. I figure I can always get better. Raise your hand if you're wearing tennis shoes today. Raise your hand if you like to have fun. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> Yay, that was so much fun. Now we get to go have more art fun.